This episode of Men of Prestige. How it works, okay? This, we're talking about engaging. I bet you want a feminine woman too, right? We're talking about the only way this works is if you surrender. That's it, okay? When you surrender first, then you can now learn how to navigate the magnificent feminine energy and the sexual polarity that happens when you bring a masculine frame into that equation. You know how to do it. When you're not confusing alpha male with masculine frame, right? That's a beautiful thing, right? That's a beautiful thing. So, but that's a lot that I just said there. But the point is that it's a move of faith. If you think you're going to do mathematical calculation and uh, you're basically competing with girls that think they can overthink, they think they can be calculated with hypergamy, right? You can't. When you're in your... Dating multiple people. I want to give you four pros and cons. Four pros and cons of dating multiple people. So, I am not dating multiple people. I am a married man, 14, 15 years. I'm happily married. I am absolutely in love with my girl, uh, my wife, my girlfriend, my everything, you know. And um, and she's absolutely in love with me, you know. But um, if you go find my other channel where we talk about marriage, just go find it. I'll link it later when I have time. But um, you will see that for yourself, you know. But yeah, that's where we started. We It's a little bigger platform over there. But I wanted to talk to my, my, my homies over here, you know. So, but anyway, there are four pros and cons I want you to uh, consider. They, they're kind of like joined together. So I didn't separate them because I want you to think for yourself. I don't want this to be another platform where it's an echo chamber and everyone is thinking the same way. That's not the purpose of the man of prestige. The man of prestige can hold his own he doesn't need people to validate him. He doesn't need people to agree. He doesn't run around with talking points from the gurus, right? He he, he's, he he listens to other people collectively and he created his own truth, right? That's the man of prestige, right? And everybody can see the respect in him. Even when he makes a mistake because as a man, he's ready to make that mistake with his chest, right? That's the man of prestige, right? So, um... Dating multiple people, the first thing I want you to consider, and I want you to think about if this is pro and con for yourself, right? The first thing is personal goals. What are your personal goals in life? Is it women? If it's not women, right? Then, because some people may claim like, yeah, I want, you know, I want to fuck as many girls I want to fuck. If that's your goal, then you know, do you, knock yourself. But I'll tell you right now, on this platform, I don't judge people. It's a choice. You made a choice as an adult. It is what it is. My job is to give you insights, another angle, so you can create your own truth. You know, I'm not here to talk about what's legal and what's not legal either. Um, I think it's bullshit. This is not the court of law, you know, and I'm not an attorney. So, um, but yes, what's your what's your personal goals? This this the idea of multiple dating. Does that align with your personal goals? Okay, some people will say, but I want to date multiple people because I'm looking for marriage. I'm dating with intention. I want to keep a rotation of a few girls then i will narrow down if that's what you want to do knock yourself out i doubt if it's going to work okay because basically you're you're doing mathematical cal calculation with romance and marriage this that's not how that shit works it's a move of faith a hundred percent of the time what are you saying so i should just close my eyes blindfold myself and go into this yes motherfucker that's how it works that's how it works okay this we're talking about engaging i bet you want a feminine woman too right we're talking about the only way this works is if you surrender that's it okay when you surrender first then you can now learn how to navigate the magnificent feminine energy and the sexual polarity that happens when you bring a masculine frame into that equation you know how to do it when you're not confusing alpha male with masculine frame right that's a beautiful thing right that's a beautiful thing so but that's a lot that i just said there but the point is that it's a move of faith if you think you're going to do mathematical calculation and uh, you're basically competing with girls that think they can overthink they think they can be calculated with hypergamy right you can't when you're in your cerebral 
it defeats the purpose it kills the whole vibe right that's why you can't figure it out you're trying to do all the math and everything trying to overthink everything but you can't figure it out you need to surrender all of that you need to enjoy life you'll meet a young lady fall in love you enjoy it if it doesn't work out you move forward and you're okay with that and if you come with that you increase your chances significantly of meeting somebody that will actually stick around long term because they don't feel like they have to watch over their shoulder every second that motherfucker is calculative as fuck anyway resources the second thing that you want to consider when it comes to pros and cons is that you want to do multiple dating that's an expensive lifestyle don't you think it's, exp it's unnecessarily expensive. See, the kind of girl that's going to marry you and be with you, that down-on-earth girl, because I know you're a lover boy. That's why you're here, my brother. You are a lover boy. You, you were a simp once upon a time, and you fell short, and now you're blaming that shit on the rest of the world. And you're going to suffer the more you do that. Not you. Of course, you're smarter, right? The resources that you're going to waste on this type of lifestyle doesn't make any sense. Get to know people. Just relax relax all that energy focus it on your career when it comes to relationship with the ladies relax you're you're giving ladies way too much credit and you're setting yourself way up too much relax engage only people that want to be around you anyway resources that's the second one third one option versus sense of options i'm not a big fan of um the one ideas either i don't think this I think to a great, I think there is, because I feel like my wife is my soulmate right now, but I'm also very aware that uh, anything can happen tomorrow. That's why I show up uh, 100% as much as I can on a daily basis. I'm happy she's with me today. Tomorrow, there's a good chance, but hey, this is life. Nothing is promised tomorrow, right? It's the entitlement that's killing you. The entitlement to another person's life. That's what's destroying you. You really think you own a person because you married a person. That's what's really, really destroying you. You're trying to engage control at every level and it becomes manipulative. And you just don't know it. You're like, I, I can't even give you that much credit. You don't even know that you're doing this stuff, right? So I'm not a subscriber to one IDs either, ultimately. So, but I think it's good to have a sense of options. You should have a sense because it says it's called abundance mindset, right? When your girl can see that in you, she's not going to fool around and, and do some bullshit. If she sees that she has options, she, she's, you know, so it's, there's a balance. There's a balancing act there, right? There's options. There's exercising the options. And there is sense of options, right? Those are all different things. Those are things you want to consider when it comes to dating multiple people. You may think you have options. You may just be killing yourself and destroying yourself effectively. All right, so last but not least that would determine the pros and cons here is emotional metrics. How are you measuring emotions? Like, do you even consider your own anger when you're talking about emotions? Are you out there trying to date multiple people because you think someone that's going to satisfy you emotionally? Did you know that one human being can give you the satisfaction of 100 girls? Did you, are you aware about that? Or you're measuring emotions the wrong way consider your emotional metrics how are you measuring emotion emotions is it the number of people because if you're doing that yeah you're just gonna waste resources again you're gonna waste time you're gonna be single you're gonna buy a dog and die alone at the age of 45 as a man that's not what we want right if you didn't want that you won't be here if you wanted that you wouldn't be here you know you want to be with somebody that you care about that cares about you just as much if not more right that's what you want so please disengage from some of the talking point all the stupid i want you to go back and watch this video and rethink everything i've just said because i didn't give you anything except i gave you some things to use to think to take a little bit of a critical thinking uh, arena when it comes to the emotional matters matters of the heart even though you would like to deny that you don't think with your heart. Bullshit.